Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of My Two Cents. In tonight's episode, we will be going over the newest addition to the house of Naughton and Wilson, Bon Viva. The fragrance for the most sophisticated and most dapper of gentlemen. Created by the brilliant Dan Naughton, a.k.a. Mr. Smelly. So stay tuned as we go over the champagne dreams and caviar wishes. Wait a second. No, stop, stop, stop. Ugh. All right, that's much better. Let's do this. Cue that intro. Welcome back, Fragrance Family, to another episode of My Two Cents. My name is Brian, and this is the show all about boosting your confidence through the art of fragrance, becoming a lasting scent memory. So, did you like that uh, Mr. Smelly intro? Yeah, POV style. Woo! In all seriousness, guys, I really love watching Mr. Smelly, Dan Naughton. His channel is freaking awesome. I love his review, and I love his style. I mean, totally dapper. Hopefully, if he watches this episode, I'm dressed okay. Because Bon Viver is made for the high fashion and dapper kind of man. If you have not checked out Mr. Smelly's channel, then do yourself a flavor. Go check it out, because it'll be linked in the description below. But I'm pretty sure if you follow this channel, then you definitely know who Mr. Smelly is. Speaking about this channel, have you subscribed yet? Have you? Well, if this is your first time stopping by and you like talking about new releases, YouTuber fragrances, or anything related fragrance, then you're in the right spot. Do me a quick favor. Hit that subscribe button down below. Throw me up one of these because you help contribute to growing this family tree bigger and bigger and bigger. And drop me some comments down below because I look forward to getting to know you. All right, we got another YouTube fragrance to review. Mmm, I'm actually very excited about this one. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these smelly whiffs and sniffs. I don't like that. That, mm, that doesn't sound good. Let, hang on, redo. So without further ado, let's get into these Mr. Smelly whiffs and sniffs. Yeah, that's better. I, that'll do. Bon Viver was released a month ago, and the nose behind it is John Steven. The fragrance is categorized as a citrus fragrance, but for me, I like to call it more of a citrus fougere. I really, really like this bottle. It is a nice, hefty glass bottle. So it says Bon Viver on the front, the Knott and Wilson crest, nice, hefty cap. I don't know if you can see that, but it says Knotten. The other side, it says Wilson. Now on the top, you got N and W for Naughton Wilson. Now let's get to spraying. If you don't know already, Mr. Smelly really loves his fougeres, his classic, manly, masculine, sophisticated fragrances. So when I got this, I knew it was gonna be just that. It's for the high class, high fashion, sophisticated, fun-loving man who appreciates the greater things in life. Nice shoes, nice watches, you know, suits and old fashions, Manhattans and Sazeracs, you know what I'm saying? All right, so let's throw the notes up right here. Right off the bat, you're going to get some really nice green facets, which are going to be the basil and the lemongrass. And that lemongrass does a really good job of just fusing together with that lemon, lime, and orange. And then you get some clove and black pepper, but the gin note. I love the gin note because it is a classic style London dry gin. So there's watermelon in it. I don't get a whole lot of like watermelon like you would from Millicent Imperial or Club de Nuit Milestone. No, this just adds kind of a watery facet. That watery facet just takes away the harshness, the medicinalness of the gin note. And it just makes it nice and smooth. Then it starts drying down and that green, dry, earthy patchouli starts rolling its way in with that nice Haitian vetiver, which is more of a dry halite kind of vetiver. And the oak moss in it, I know they used as much as they absolutely could after hearing an interview with, with Mr. Smelly and John. If for regulations these days, as you know, you're not allowed to use a whole substantial amount of oak moss, especially not like you used to be able to. It starts out nice and citrusy and green with some nice herbs and that clove gives it a nice semi-spiciness. And then that watermelon comes in with the gin and creates this nice fresh dry gin note. Not medicinal whatsoever. It just is nice and round and blended. 
beautifully. Then that Haitian vetiver and the patchouli and the oak moss all dance around each other and blend magically to create a nice, earthy, slightly bitter dry down. And what this fragrance really reminds me of is this. Eau Sauvage. But what Eau Sauvage used to be before it got reformulated, back when I was in high school, Eau Sauvage, and probably even before that. Now, is it similar? N sort of, not really. I have read some reviews where everybody says they're not impressed because it just smells like Sauvage. Well, in my opinion, this does not smell like Sauvage. This, it is a Fougere-esque fragrance with citruses and green notes and woodiness, but it doesn't smell like Sauvage. And if anything, it smells like old school Sauvage, but modernized. I think it's a very well blended fragrance and it's bringing back the way fragrances used to be before everything got regulated, before Ifra came in and said, nope, you can't use this, nope, you can't use that. This is a beautifully blended fragrance. John Steven did a great job, fantastic job. And Dan did a fantastic job helping. Performance on it, I get between six and eight hours. Siage on it is about a foot and a half to two feet, which is pretty good, and that's within the first hour, hour and a half. The best occasion to wear this is with either suit and tie or business casual. This is something that you wanna take with you when you're going out for drinks after work or even wearing to the office. So here are my ratings. My YouTuber ratings, are you ready for it? All right, first up, does this fragrance remind me of Mr. Smelly's reviews? 100%, 10 out of 10 on that. He loves his classic fougeres, his classic sophisticated fragrances. This is classy, super classy. Now presentation, does this bottle in the box remind me of Mr. Smelly? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's classy, it's sophisticated, it's a great looking bottle. All it's missing is a pocket square. And then it would be a 20 out of 10. Now, overall fragrance. I'm gonna give this a seven and a half out of 10. It does remind me in some facets of Eau Sauvage. Not a whole lot, but there are some facets, but that's like saying Tom Ford's Beau de Jour smells like Eau Sauvage. That's like saying every Fougere smells like Eau Sauvage. This goes in a different direction. Yeah, it is citrusy, it's green, it's got nice aromatics, it's got a nice woody backbone, and the oak moss in it is superbly done. The performance on it could be a little bit better, but hey, this outperforms this. And for 125 bucks, what I bought it for, I think it's a great price. I definitely think you should go out and get yourself a sample where you can find it. I know Lucky Scent was selling Gravitas. I don't know if they have Bon Viver yet, but I will leave in the link below if I can find samples of Bon Viver. So my overall, Dan Naughton did a bang up job. I have not tried Gravitas, but I look forward to it because if it's the same quality as Bon Viver, then it's gonna be fantastic. And I've heard nothing but great things. Dan Naughton, bang up job. Bon Viver is definitely for a classy man. And you, my friend, are a very classy man. And I can smell your class in this glass. So good job. I really appreciate you putting this composition out. I can smell your artistic creativity in it. I love your reviews. I love your witty and dry humor. And I think you bring something super unique to the fragrance community. So thank you. All right, there it is, guys. That is my review of Mr. Smelly's Bon Viver. So with that being said, guys, that is it for me this evening. I hope you all have a great night and you have champagne dreams and caviar wishes. Until next time, remember, you're stinking beautiful and happy scent trails. Mm -hmm.